Sorry about the noise in the background. That's my fan. It's pretty hot in here. It's about 32 degrees right now in my van. And I'm at, back at Cook Creek for the first time in probably a month or two. The bugs are out a little bit. So this is the first time I've pulled out my curtains. Um, well, they're, cur they're shears for a house. So I've just left my side door open and I've kind of magneted it up there with magnets, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, it doesn't allow much breeze to come through, but I do have my fan running. My little fan. I'm going to pull the big one out tonight when I try to sleep. So I'm going to try and sleep with it like that tonight. And you'll note it looks more spacious in here. That's because of my wheelchair. Is outside. Or I think I'm going to leave it for the night because it's hot and not going to rain. These are the magnets that I used to put up the curtain. They're stuck to the middle up there, which you can't see. And I can't get out to show you. Not easily, and it's too hot to try. They're really, really strong. Got them on Amazon. Couldn't tell you what they were called. You can see this is my bed. I've actually changed it previously. It had two inches of memory foam folded in half, so it was four inches of really soft memory foam. And it had that, that's a folded yoga mat, really hard. That was underneath and it was very narrow. So from Yisk, I got, actually I'm not gonna pull that out cause it's too hard to get back on again. Um, a folding mat that's three inches memory foam, a little bit harder memory foam. So I've got three inches. It's actually really comfortable. I tried it the first night without the foam. You can see that there's a ridge right where the control panel is right there. Um, that's where the memory foam comes to. Uh, I didn't have it in there the first night and my shoulders and hips got really sore sleeping because it was too hard. So this is perfect. I had an excellent sleep last night with the memory foam. So pretty happy about all that. And if you've watched my videos for very long, you know that what everything looks like in here. Uh, my fridge is on the left there and I have a horrible time getting into it from the inside of the van and the outside of the van because the reach is just too difficult from inside and from out. So I'm looking at other options and I might drop it into the stow and go, take the stow and go seat out there. That's right behind the passenger seat. And then it would be easier to get in and out, get things in and out of, so we'll see. I've been having troubles with my Jackery. First, the input from my uh, cigarette later power, 10 volt, I guess that's called, um, stopped working. The connection was loose, but the solar panel was still working. And I brought the solar panel out this morning to charge up, and now it also isn't working. I'm back at Cook Creek again. There's my driveway. I do have some neighbors there, but it's still pretty private. And then behind me, it's beautiful. It's just all forest. So this isn't a river site this time, but um, it's more shady. And I'm absolutely loving it. And another shot starting at the back of my campsite. And then this is just gorgeous, this little grove over here. I have some pictures that I'll insert too, but it's so private. I just really, really love Cook Creek. Every spot is unique and wonderful. Turns out there was a giant wasp nest outside my campsite, just on the edge of it. Campos came to take care of it, but uh, 
they came at night so they were asleep but okay hold it up how bad is your hand is it swelling no let's see your hand in here where'd he get you right oh look right there oh yeah, yeah right there somewhere oh yeah. right there yeah oh yeah yeah but you can see it's swelling over you the... got that twisted up oh. 